Now moving on from the Z stack, let's look at the time lapse dialog. By activating time lapse within the acquisition mode, the new dialog appears within which we can adjust the time interval between time points by clicking and manually typing in, let's say, 15 second time interval. I like nice round numbers, so let's get rid of that. You could also click the minimize button here, which will ignore any time interval and go as quickly as your hardware and exposure times will allow the system to go. Now those will control the intervals with time. Beneath that we can control the total duration a couple of ways. Uh, the first on the bottom here is with a actual number of cycles where we can say we would like, you know, 10 20, 30 data points, or we could use a duration of time that says our reaction is going to take two hours. We're going to go get lunch and come back and see it's finished. You can type it in manually here just like above, or you can acquire until stopped. If you're sitting with the microscope and you know what your reaction is going to look like, you could watch in real time and allow the system to run until the memory is full or your reaction occurs and you can stop the acquisition all within the time-lapse dialog so once you have the experiment set up the way you'd like simply click the start button and it will capture those time points with all the channels that you've got indicated here in the center panel